Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. I know many of you have been stuck in the middle of your work or you are searching for a free office solution for your business or personal use. Don't worry. In this video, I have bought a fantastic free and open source office solution for you. These suites include a free alternative to your Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access. Plus, it is not limited to those applications. You will also get a draw and mathematic application. So I'll discuss in the video about the more in the draw and math application. Just to know you quickly that draw is your uh, similar to your Corel draw. Not exactly Corel draw, but basic things you can do on in the draw application. And then in the maths application, it is very useful for your math teacher and professors. We have a math formulas are given here. You just need need to custom import custom add your uh, mathematics uh, numbers there and create a question bank and your question math questions for you which is not available in the microsoft office right and i promise once you start using this you will want to say goodbye to microsoft office to prove the compatibility of this software suite we will compare the microsoft office and apache open office side by side i'll show you how to create open office file in both the suites to demonstrate how well they work so without any further delay let's get into the video Okay, so for that first we have to go to this uh, Apache website. So with the Apache office. So this is you can see this is the Apache office.org website. Let's go there. And once you're on the website, let's go to the product and see what product they are offering. You can see here they have a writer. It's a writer is similar to our uh, word in Microsoft office. And this is Calc. Calc is, is our Microsoft Excel in Excel. This is the Impress. Impress is a PowerPoint presentation. And this draw, I just said, this is for the 3D illustration. It's just similar to Corel Draw, but not exactly because Corel Draw is uh, more into the 3D and your uh, icon or more about this. Uh, Corel Draw is more about your uh, graphics designing and all, right? And this is about the base. Base is about your Access, Microsoft Access. And then math, I said that this is for your mathematical formulas, equations to solve, and you can have edit it in this one. Okay, so let's go quickly to the download and download this application. So this application is available for Microsoft, Linux, and uh, your uh, Apple devices, OS X. So for us, we will go and download the Microsoft Office 32 bits. Let's go and download this full installation. And you know, since it's, when it's downloading, let's go and try to understand. Let's see this uh, background of this Apache Office. So Apache Office, let's go to Apache Office Wiki and let's see on the Wikipedia. So you can see this is the Apache Office. This is called AO and this is the open source productivity software. And this was designed by the Microsoft, this was designed by the IBM for the latest Lotus Symphony right and later on I think it was sold to Oracle then Oracle sold it to uh, Apache there's lots there this is the open source software so that this keep tra uh, transferring from one hand to another and when you look into this one this was initial release was 2012 yeah so um, this is pretty much old software this is not a new one and this as I said that this is supported on the Linux Mac and Windows right so let's go ahead and see whether we have a download. This software is downloaded or not. Not downloaded. Okay. Let's refresh it. Okay. So you can see this is started downloading and this is uh, just 136 MB of the file. So it's not going to take much time. So, so that's say that 10, 12, 15 seconds. Okay. As I said that after 15 seconds downloaded, now it's time to open it and install it. So let's go ahead and install this application. So this should be the pretty simple application to install. You just click on the next, next and finish it. So click on the finish and this is going to oh i said double click on that okay next actually I double click on that so that's what it is showing that but ignore it and uh, let's install this first one finish okay this is done now you can see on your desktop you have a apache office 4 4.1.5 this is the latest latest one just open this software and once you open it you can see this beautiful six tabs here you can see that the first one is text document, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, database, and formula. So this we have already discussed it. So let's open this text document. Text document is our word one. So, okay. So you can see the interface and you can make it out. This is the word, right? And you can see when you look into this, you can have a uh, file new options, right? You can open the new document. You can open the file. You can save that. You can send as an email. You have a PDF. You can see and a print preview, right? Page preview. And then you have this option format painter right web link and then you have option to insert this tables and all and when you look into this you have a um, option to change the fonts from here then you have a option to change the font size bold italic underline and then you have a option to align these pages right left alignment right alignment right then you have a font colors highlighter so i think everything is there it's not something that uh, you have to do anything here go to the view you can see this page layout 
tools bar right and then uh, if you want anything specific to be added here we have to go to the view and click on the toolbar and select this option from here you can click on the drawing you can see the drawing has come in the below right so there are the customization we have to do that's it will take some time once you switch back from microsoft to this uh, open apache open office it's going to take some time to to uh, understand the interface but doing the work is exactly the same there is no difference with that between that so you can see this insert then you have a format table tools windows and so everything is here right so well, let's open the microsoft word here and compare that with word let's open the blank document oh my god while seeing that my face become like this you can see the side guy i say that only three four days to go so after four days this is going to lock this application and i have to buy it so when i go and buy it uh, you know how much is going to cost you can see here this is 4899 per year or 6199 per year this is for the single user which i you know uh, just ignore that that's what i'm looking for the alternative to this microsoft office okay coming back to uh, the topic so you can see here on the home we have a home option then in the home you can see these are the options here and the similar options i also here right given here when you click on the insert insert you have a table everything here then you have a format right you have a table all informations are already there here so what we will do is let's create one document here so on the microsoft word let's create one document like so this is a important document for apache of and uh, what we'll do is let's insert some table here and in table type this sunday monday day wednesday and type the thursday here and then let's um let me do one let's insert some pictures also insert pictures pictures from this device uh, I should have some pictures in the download folder. Let's so we have we have a document here. Okay, so we have a we have inserted we have added the text and let's make this text as a text as a uh, size 20 and change it to my favorite style bookman man all the style where is my book all the style okay and the font bookman all the style here right and just save that file save as this document and uh, save this is to the document okay save now it's time to open in the open office so click on the open and you have document you can see this is the imported document of apache document then we have a sunday monday and then we have this picture here right so can we import one more picture here and we can see open it on this uh, microsoft word okay so you click on the insert and then you have picture picture from file okay and this time we'll use this uh, math okay so this is the math here and let's save it save this document so you know uh, when you try to save this document so what we have seen here we have saved the document in the doc format and we were able to open it into the apache office so when you save back this file it will ask you for the extension yes it will ask you the extension so extension you what you have to do is you have to give here extension as a doc here you can give this 2003 xml but i would suggest to give this uh, this one microsoft office 972.docx and save close it click the comment format close it and let's open that file into the microsoft word go to the document important doc file open as a microsoft word and office 365 can easily open you can see we have a uh, maths things here added right so that's all that says that it is a compatible with your microsoft word right let's close this one now it's time to apache office and a spreadsheet a spreadsheet is you know, similar to your microsoft excel so for test this excel i have some data to input here let's get this data so i have few data here let's copy and paste it so these are the, some data here which i have uh, imported let's save it save this important data on this apache office and it says that you want to save this spreadsheet at an odf no i don't want to save it as odf let's save it as a xls format and uh, let's save it as a few data and save it keep the current format and when you go back to the document and what file you have the few data dot xls right click on it open with excel open with excel microsoft excel oh it's already open in this document so close it cancel it and we have to reopen it. so guys when you have already opened this document in the in the apache office it's going to ask it will tell you give the error message that this is on a read only format so just close the document and then try to reopen it and now you can see i'm able to open this document into the microsoft excel without any error right so just close this one and let's see this option in the apache office so spreadsheet and you can see this option here we have view edit view insert and then you have a format tools data windows right so these are all options ahead here so you can go ahead and try with this excel and you can use it 
right so let's close this one now it's time to open the another one which is the presentation so let's open the presentation here this is the empty presentation presentation okay go ahead and open it and now you can see this is exactly it open so you have you here also the layout options are there so you can go ahead and select your layout however you want to do that select the layout here and then from here there would be some option you can see the color option here when you select that and when you click on this uh, this templates here you can see that there are the different templates you can select and you can use it right click on the file save as and how about the odp format fine come down you can see microsoft presentation and the ppt just give the name as sorry give the name as ppt and click on the save keep the current format and close it now it's time to open this document into this uh, microsoft powerpoint click right click on it open powerpoint and you can see here this has opened in the powerpoint as well sorry for this disturbing message that keep popping up asking about this uh, activating the license but you can see this compatibility between uh, microsoft product and your uh, apache office right so let's add some test doc test tech t and uh, save as just save it close this one and uh, let's open the apache office presentation close this one go back ppt right click in it and open with open with open office impress open office impress and uh, you can see test added right so this is very much compatible with the software so one thing which i see this is very irritating for me so let me show it to you and how do you fix it so right click on it and when you try to open this uh, in this uh, document and when you add um and add anything here this is a ppt on apache office and you try to save it it will throw you this message right it will keep asking this message okay hey, you want to save it this format that format right to save this problem what you have to do is just close all this application don't save it discard it i don't want to save it close this one go to the open office and go to the tools options and you have to go to the save you can see here general and now it's as a text document so this is our the text document text document is your word document how you want to save it so i want to save this as a office office this one uh, office 1997 to the next week click on okay again go the tools option and then it says that how you want to save this uh, spreadsheet spreadsheets also i want to save at into this 1997 of x xp click on okay and again you have to go to the tools options and you have to go to uh, presentation how you want to save it again you have to go and select the option for this office microsoft office right click on the okay that's it so now when you go back to any of the document so let's open the document to our document folder here and uh, uh, let's say open this document open with and the writer okay info added info added save that now see it's not asking see directly save it to the file and save this document now you can see this is not asking about the extension and all you can go ahead and quickly save that file and if you click on the file save as also let's say click on the save as it will directly save into this microsoft office and to the doca format right just give the file name and save now it's time to test this uh, the other two application which are those the one is the database so database it's like a simple one right this is about the microsoft access i i said that right you can go ahead and create the form and other stuff so i'm not good about that and the database stuff but just to show you that this is how you can create a table this is how to create a queries right so this is very similar to microsoft access so we'll close this one again again we have to save the form format right microsoft if you want to compatible with the microsoft product you have to save that as a 2000 windows microsoft office windows 2000 x now it's time to show you that the math related thing right as i said in the starting of the video so this is about the formula so when you open the formula you can see this preset of the formulas right and this uh, this is what i was saying so if you go ahead if you go and add this formulas into this microsoft office this is again a painful job but here you have all the options are given here so when you click on this uh, this one just click add here and you can see enter this formula is already added here just uh, make that bigger you can see if you want this symbol, symbol cost theta enter so you have already presets are there uh, elements presets are they given here cost tan theta everything is there a square plus b square right this is all information that there this is how you want to go and i'm not a math guy sorry for that so math guys can understand that this is very helpful for you just go ahead and test this software right let me delete all of and uh, let's go all the math formulas are there if you want to add this add this one you can see add it okay so we have covered covered our today's uh, videos agenda we have uh, installed apache office 
and then we have comp compared with Microsoft Office. Then we have fixed this uh, file extensions. So one more thing. So when you have, when you do not have a so some PCs. So what happened is when you try to save the file, Apache Office file, in any of the extension, uh, maybe in the XML or uh, Microsoft Office extension, it will ask you for the Java. So you have to go to download a Java environment and install it, right? So in just in case it asks. So that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful. Please subscribe for more videos like it. Feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you'd like to see in the future video. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.